Yo, it's 2022 and finally I'm making a video again. It's been a while since the last video, I know. Um, I want to talk about my 2022 goals for my running goals this, uh, this year. Uh, a little bit about goal setting in general and a quick just uh, recap of how my training has been going for the last couple of months. So 2021 was a good year. Interestingly, it started out, you know, my goal for 2021 was actually just to arrive at 2022 injury free, uh, ready to train seriously, right? And that's what I've done. I have arrived, I am stronger, I'm a better athlete, I've learned a lot, and I've actually done, it's one of the, it's, it's the best year of training in my life. I've actually done more volume than ever. I've done a lot of cross training, and a fair amount of running too. PR'd in the half marathon in September after a, sort of just a very gradual, careful build. So I'm very happy that I was able to pull that off, and it just shows that, uh, unspectacular training is really the way to go you don't want to you don't want to bank on having this epic training week stacked on top of each other and just like wow that's insane that's like a monster workout that sort of thing you actually just want to do mediocre week after week right just be consistent just be gradual be progressive um, be conservative slowly but surely it all adds up and fitness um, results. So anyway, good year for me 2021. Uh, after the half marathon, I was going to go into base training and I did. I got about three weeks of good volume there uh, and then I got sick, just a regular cold. And so that was a little bit of a hiccup, uh, a little obstacle in the road. And, and, and so over the last uh, month or so, I haven't been able to run as much as I wanted, um, but still been able to keep it consistent. And now I'm here in Nice, France, and I am ready to start training uh, more. <laughs> hey guys, just popping in quickly. I wanted to let you know that if you are a runner and you have some running goals for 2022, maybe you're a beginner just trying to get started running, or maybe you're already a seasoned runner, but you want to train better, then I would love to help you out. I offer online coaching. Basically, I offer different plans. You can check them out on my website. There's a link in the description below this video. Um, but they all include a custom plan optimized to fit you and your needs and your goals, as well as unlimited WhatsApp support and communication with me through the online interactive training calendar. All right, so if that sounds cool, um, don't hesitate to uh, contact me through the website. I would love to help you out. All right, that's all. Uh, let's get back to the video. So goals for 2022. Well, in terms of race goals, well, actually, let's take other goals first. Um, train consistently, uh, stay injury free. Um, those two goals, actually, those are the most important. They're even more important than the races because if I don't train consistently and stay injury free, I won't even be able to race, right? So those are actually the most important goals that I have. So I got to focus on that. Stay consistent and don't do, I shouldn't do any sudden changes in training, which is why right now coming from base training phase, going into a race buildup, I'm actually now spending about a month um, as, a, as a little training cycle, training phase in itself, where I'm adapting my body to workouts again, like harder workouts, faster workouts, slowly increasing the amount of fast running that I do before I get to like February where I'll start actually doing proper workouts, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, consistent training throughout the year, that's a big goal. I've set a goal for myself, 3,500 kilometers in 2022. I don't know, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll hit 3,000 uh, can I hit 4,000 maybe? I mean, I don't want to do more than that right now. We'll save that for next year uh, because we, ha we want to have that gradual build, right? So maybe 3,005. I, I totaled 2,600 kilometers this year, but there was a lot of cross training too, which I'll do this year as well. And so I'm hoping it's going to be my best training year so far. Um, race goals, pretty simple actually. I have a, a block now uh, over the winter, spring, 
uh, focused on 5k and 10k. I'll get back to that. And then in the autumn, I'm going to try my first marathon. I definitely want to do my first marathon. I remember sitting here, must have been three years ago now. There's a video where I'm sitting right here uh, talking about my goals and mentioning that I want to do the marathon. And um, didn't turn out that way for various reasons. Um, mainly I had a health issue. Uh, but now I'm here and 2022 is on and I'm just excited and I think that I should be able to do my first marathon in, in, in um, September, October, November, depending on where I choose. Hopefully here in Nice in France, but we'll see. So the marathon build will start this summer sometime. I'll build up my volume, get it up to maybe 100k per week, maybe even touching on 110 kilometers per week, typically. Um, and, 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 and do a specific marathon build, you know. Um, we can talk more about that in another video later when I start doing that. But before I get there, I have my eyes on a, a 10k race in April, Centrumslöpa in Norway, um, it's the end of April. And I thought, why not also throw in a 5k in the beginning of April, right? So three weeks apart, those two races. So that's sort of the idea, um, working on a little bit of those faster types of races this, uh, this spring. I think now after doing my half marathon and just doing a lot of volume and slow distance and marathon pace and some threshold stuff this last year, I'm thinking now let's, let's get a little towards that sort of fast end of things and work a little bit. I wouldn't call it speed, that would be more like you know, like 1500 meter, 800 meter pace type of work, speed. Uh, I might still throw in a little bit of speed work, but that's risky with me and my injury history with tendons and everything, which is probably also why I need it, but it's, uh, you know, we got to sort of um, compromise a little bit. And I think at this point, uh, working a little bit more specifically on my VO2 max and, and yeah, getting ready for a 5K and a 10K, I think that would be fun. Time goals. Just off the top of my head, I'm sort of thinking, 10K, I definitely want to go sub 40. I, I will go sub 40. Uh, but can I go sub 39? Maybe, I, I think so. That's a reasonable goal. We'll see as the training progresses. Uh, it would be nice to go sub 38, to be honest, and see the 37 number there. And uh, for 5K, it's kind of, you know, similar situation, just definitely going to go sub 20. Uh, can I go sub 19 though? Maybe I, I, I don't I don't have enough experience in that sort of pace realm to know for sure and Could I go sub 18? Who knows? This, this is a long range, right? So I, I have no idea at the moment. I'm just looking at tables and stuff. That's sort of what is indicated somewhere in that ballpark, but We'll see as training progresses. So anyway, I'm gonna do a lot of threshold training a lot of VO2 max training uh, and keep my volume actually pretty moderate over the next few weeks and months. Uh, so instead of sort of pushing the volume, I'm focusing now more on quality. I'm going to do two workouts a week plus a long run. Uh, let's talk about my schedule in another video and how I'm planning to execute that build up. But so that's it. So yeah, so 5K and 10K April. First goal of the year race wise and then marathon uh, in the fall. And I'll just do a whole lot of miles, kilometers, base stuff in the summer. So that's sort of my goals. But honestly, I've learned a huge lesson this year and, I, and that's what I want to also finish off this video with and tell you in terms of like your goals and how, how I think anyone should um, approach their goals when it comes to running. And what I've learned is that if you get too excited about your goal, I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you should be excited about your goal, but if you get too excited, and you get too focused on that one goal, um, as in a race, for example, particularly races, then it's very easy to lose track of those good principles in training, right? So you, you just say, oh, okay, at this date, I want to be able to run this fast, and then I got to do this and this and this in the weeks before, and you're just focused on the pace, and you're just focused on the race, and not on the training. And being focused on the training is what's going to get you to where you want to go. And being focused on good training principles and, you know, gauging where you are today 
is very important in, in running. Because if, if, you, if you get unrealistic about your paces and about your times and your goals, uh, you'll probably overdo it in training. You'll either push the envelope too far in terms of volume because, you know, i got to get to this volume because that's necessary to perform at this level or whatever. And maybe that's true, but your insistence on that particular volume when your body maybe is telling you otherwise will get you injured, right? Or it might. Usually it does. So... I, I would like to sort of just have the goals there, but as an overarching principle, focus on the training rather than the goals themselves and allow the training to sort of dictate the goals a little bit, particularly in terms of like the time, the exact time to race, um, the, I mean the exact um, pace for the race and the, the, the finishing time. So um, stay conservative basically, stay, keep it gradual. Um, have a couple of big goals uh, and maybe a couple of smaller goals along the way, right? So I'm, I'm going to do a 3,000 meter probably a couple of weeks before the 5,000. Probably do it at 5k pace. That could be a little bit of a sub goal, right? Like, so it's, you know, you need to have this, these different goals, but mainly focusing on training rather than being too obsessed about the goals. The goals are sort of like a bonus feature of the whole thing, right? Like you, something like a carrot that you dangle in front of yourself, just, ah, the, 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 I'm looking forward to that race, I'm gonna try and race fast, whatever. But if you get too obsessed about it, you won't be able, you, you'll overdo it in training and you won't even arrive at the starting line. So take a step back, look at where you're at today, plan accordingly, train well, take your recovery, don't overdo it, no sudden changes, gradual increase, progression, you know, all those good principles, that's, uh, that's really key. That's it for the first video of 2022, I hope to do a lot more. I'm not going to pin myself down to a particular schedule just yet, but I do want to get regular about it. And I'm going to do my best to get that done. What are your goals for 2022? Please let me know, post a comment down below where you tell me what your goals are. Could be anything. Could be, it could even be non-running related if you want. Um, but if it, if, if it is a race or whatever, uh, what race is it? And what, what your, what's your time goal? What's your distance goal? What, whatever type of goal you have, tell me about it in the comment section. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for more videos. And by the way, I'm working on that ebook. Still working on that ebook. It's coming out at some point, soon, hopefully. All right, thanks for watching. Good to see you again, or I guess I can't see you, but you can see me. I hope you feel that it's good to see me. I'll see you in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.